Hey guys, it's me. Um, the group I'm in on Vampire Freaks, called Examine, if you're on Vampire Freaks, I would definitely check them out, has recently started a thing. Originally, you could post info about yourself and people ask you questions. Well, now they've started a thing where you post info on yourself and people can ask you questions with audio files or video, and you can reply with audio or video. Or you can ask them stuff with audio or video or text, whichever. And, you know, that's kind of revolutionary, I think, because not a lot of groups on Vampire Freaks have that. You know, they embed YouTube videos, but it's never to talk to other people, I don't think. So this is a way for members of groups on Vampire Freaks or any other social network to get closer, I think. And to that I say, VIVA REVOLUTION! Anyways, awkward moment. On to the questions. BRB Exploring asks, Congratulations! What I win! You are one of the few humans to survive the apocalypse. Well, I'm a survivor. I may be one of the few, but I'm few and proud of survivors, so okay. What fictional post-apocalyptic world do you most hope the world most resembles? I thought about this. The zombie apocalypse, because I love 28 Days Later and Resident Evil. And since it's fictional, I can use the infinite ammo code from video games and just maw down all the zombies. I would probably die, though, regardless. But I would go into a blaze of glory. And the reason for that is I've dreamt it. I dreamt that the zombies got down into my bunker and I stuck a grenade in the first zombie's mouth and pulled a pin and took off running. And then the whole place just exploded. I mean, oil cans and stuff blowing up. And the place was blown sky high. I went out in a blaze of glory, though, and I took him with me. Um, BRB Exploring also asks, Is it hard for you to differentiate between friendly and crush type feelings for people of the opposite sex? If so, why does this happen? Um, I think it varies person to person because you can never tell if someone's just being friendly or crushed up friendly as in kind of flirting with you. People have different ways, methods of going about it. So, what? I'm the shy type. So what I do, if I like someone, I keep it to myself and... I see if they start leaving bigger hints than just being friendly to me, and then when I'm 100% sure that they like me, then I'll start talking to them in the crush sense. So I keep it friendly unless I know positively that they have a crush on me. Emo Nail Polish asks, do you have any hidden talents? If so, explain everything about it, at what age did you learn it, and can you show us? Whatever else you feel is relevant to his talent. Majority of my body is double jointed. I'll just show you my double jointed fingers. Sorry if that creeps you out. I play bass and guitar. My first guitar my father got me when I was about 15. It sucked. You plug an amp into it, you couldn't get distortion. When I was about 17, he got me a better guitar, Dean, which I practice on constantly. Graduation, my grandpa got me a bass guitar, and I got into bass because of uh, Nikki Six from Motley Crue. And I'm looking forward to getting the uh, Gibson Thunderbird bass, which is Nikki Six own design. Also, want to learn drums, because when I was a kid, I was loved watching people play drums. And I also want to learn violin. I'm also I also learned to read when I was about two. My first story was Aladdin, and I'm also very techno savvy. Um, Emo Nail Paul also asked, music plays a huge part in my life. Does it for you? Besides the essential needs on my computer for the Windows and Internet Explorer and all the basic programs, the rest of that hard drive, besides maybe 10-15% is nothing but music. And my iPod Touch has maybe one or two apps and the rest of my memory doesn't even have pictures. It is just music, so it does play a huge part. Are there any songs that you listen to and think, this is exactly how I feel, or why I want to say I've just ne never known how? The song Liar by Emily Autumn. 
And the reason for that is the whole song is what a significant ode would say to you, and you're just saying it back to him. And then the main chorus just says, liar. That's how I, I'm very soft-spoken. I would never yell at a girl. But that's how I felt in my head, and I just wanted to yell that they're a liar because that's what they were, pretty much. Um, I'm also in the Edgar Allan Poe, the same to artist, of course, the writer, and he had a poem called Dream Within a Dream, and the song uh, Right Where It Belongs by Nine Inch Nails kind of reminds me of that. Um, do you attach memories to certain songs? My, I remember my first slow dance was to I Don't Want to Miss a Thing by Aerosmith, and I remember the song Room of Angel from Silent Hill 4. I had it on my iPod. And my mother and I were in a crash, and after I crashed, I would not listen to that song in the car for quite some time because I was uh, paranoid it would jinx us or something like that. Those are the only big memories I can recall at this very moment. Um, <laughs> Monster Face asks, how do you feel about mothers under the age of 15? If it was the R word, which is terrible... I would hope that their family and friends are there to support them. If it was planned, I would not plan a child unless you're really mature and are positive you can take care of yourself and that you're financially stable to support another life besides your own. Um, I just don't think many people that are 14 years old, uh, 11 months and 20 to 30 days, depending on leap year, because you said under 15. I just don't think there's many that are financially stable or quite mature enough. That's just me, though. Um, Nerdcake asks, Where in the world do you want to travel the most and why? Um, when I was a kid, I always loved video games. I still love video games. I was a video game addict all the way from Super Nintendo times. And... The video games, most good, great ones, came from Japan, so I always wanted to go to Japan, mostly Tokyo, because it's a huge city, it's bright, you know, I always wanted to be a game designer or something if I went there. I just like to travel there for the heck of it. Um, another place is London, England. Um, a lot of great writers came from England, like Shakespeare, I think he came from there, I'm quite sure, and... I love the architecture, I love the culture. And plus they have tea time, and I love tea. Regarding Japan, it's pretty and it's shiny. Another place I always wanted to go to is Venice, Italy. I wanted to ride gondolas through the canals, through the town. Um, that's all the questions I got here. Keep them coming, leave them in the comments, or if you're in examine on Vampire Freaks. Keep them coming. I'll keep making more videos. And uh, before I leave, i got a question for you all. If, regarding the zombie apocalypse, if two zombies have intercourse, is it necrophilia? Hmm. Anyways, <laughs> if you're watching this in the morning, good morning. If you're watching this in the afternoon, good afternoon. If you're watching this at night, good night. And I will talk to you guys later.